اهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة وفيديو جديد لقناتنا English for Arabs النهاردة ان شاء الله هناخد النصف الاولاني للوحدة الخمستاشر هتضمن الفيديو اول حاجة معانا الكلمات الجزء الثاني شرح نص الوحدة اما الجزء الثالث PowerPoint ال Present Continuous استخدام المضارع المستمر للتعبير عن المستقبل والفرق بينه وبين Be Going To Unit 15 I'm going to soccer match Babysitter Babysitter T soft D American British Babysitter Person who takes care of someone's baby Puppy American A young dog British A young dog A young dog Dog British American Dog O A In American O Sometimes A Excuse A false reason To I'd love to I want I wanna Bowling Bowling A game played by rolling a heavy ball For Barbecue A party in which a meal prepared outside over fire A party British party Picnic A journey in the arms of nature A journey in the arms of nature Tournament Tournament A competition for choosing the best The best player or team Comedy act Comedy act Yeah sound The sound of Y Comedy act Link Comedy act في هنا link وصلة بين D وال A باستخدام ال Yeah sound أو صوت ال Y Comedy act Concert American Concert O A Concert A musical party Musical party T soft D Five Accept Say yes Refuse Say no Refuse Say no Call me back Call me back How's it going? How are you? How's it going? How are you? General words for unit 15 Cancelled Cancelled Deleted Cancelled 1L and cancelled double L Cancelled USA 1L Cancelled double L This is British خلي بان هنا الverb في USA with 1L British بيبقى double L Deleted Or deleted Monuments Monuments remains Viewer Viewer Gathering Crowd Handout Leisure activity Spare time activity Free time activity Live Direct Happening now Unit 15 I'm going to soccer match 1. Snapshot Look at the picture What do you see? A young man and a young lady The man is smiling The young lady is angry She's making what? Like he would like to shake hands. So he's asking for invitation and she refuses his invitation. Making excuses. Excuse a false reason. I'm sorry, I have to wash my hair that night. I'm sorry, I can't accept your invitation. I can't come with you because I have to wash my hair that night. That night I'm going to wash my hair. Course executes is a false reason. Not a true reason. Not true. Not a real one. Some common excuses for not accepting an invitation. Common, general. Famous excuses 
for not accepting an invitation, for refusing an invitation. 1. I can't. My parents are visiting from out of town. If someone invites you to go to the movies, to go to the cinema, or to have dinner with him, to come to his birthday party, and you don't like to go, how can you refuse politely? Politely, in a very good way, saying no, but in direct way. This is politely, to say no, but with giving reasons, with giving an excuse. Say, sorry, I can't, my parents are visiting from out of town. I'm sorry, I am busy that night. I'm sorry, I can't find a babysitter. Babysitter, a person who takes care of your baby while you're away. Someone who takes care of a child or baby for a short time. I'm not feeling well. I'm sick. I am ill. I have to work. I have a lot of work. I just got a new puppy. I have to stay home with it. So this is, of course, Good excuse, but with kids, with children, they say, I just got a new puppy, a puppy, a young dog, puppy, British, American puppy, and I have to stay home with this puppy. I have a class that night, I have a class that night, I have a course, I have a lecture. My favorite television show is on that night. My favorite TV show is on that night. I have to get up early the next morning. So in the next morning, I have to get up early. To get up. I have to get up early in the next morning. Get up, T soft D. These are some, these are some common excuses. Have you ever used any of these excuses? Have you ever heard any of them? Which ones? I have to work. Sorry, I can't. I have to work. Sorry, I am busy. I'm very busy that night. I have a meeting. A meeting? Meeting. I have class that night. I have to get up early the next morning. This is why I can't stay up late. I can't come. I can't stay up late. Which are good excuses and which are bad excuses? I can't. My parents are visiting from out of town. Good excuses. Good. I am busy that night. Good. I'm sorry. I can't find a babysitter. In the USA, good. In Egypt, Saudi Arabia, no, bad. Sorry, I can't find a babysitter. Okay, you can come with your kids, with your children. You will have fun. <laughs> I'm not feeling well. I'm sick. Good. I have to work. Good. I just got a new puppy. I have to stay home with it. In the USA, good, but in Egypt, or Saudi Arabia, not good. You say, me or the puppy, would you like to stay with me? Or you go and stay with the young dog? I have a class that night. Good. I have a lecture. I have a course. My favorite television show is on that night. Bad. Because you can watch it on the internet. You can watch it next day on the internet or on the internet. I have to get up early the next morning. Good. Exercise number two. Conversation. Conversation making plan. Look at the picture here. What do you see? A young lady. A young man. Where are they? Young lady, young man. They are in the kitchen, 
maybe, because I've heard a lot of cups, plates. Maybe this is a restaurant, a cafeteria, and they are in the kitchen. They are doing the dishes, they're cleaning the cups. And here we have the name. So maybe there, a waiter and a waitress. A waiter, waitress. A waiter, someone who serves in a restaurant. Waitress. Exercise 2. Conversation. Making plans. Listen and practice. Unit 15. I'm going to a soccer match. Page 100. Exercise 2. Conversation. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Len and Miguel. Len is a young lady. Miguel is a young man. Say Miguel. Say Miguel. What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to. I'd love to. I'd like to. I want. But I. T soft D. But I can't. I'm going to soccer match with my brother. Soccer, football. Soccer, football. OA. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. Sounds here means seems. Tomorrow is fine. Tomorrow is fine. I'm gonna work until five. So let's go around six. So let's go around 6 o'clock. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. After that, we can have dinner together. Sounds great. That's great. Sounds seems. That's great. It's great. First question. What's Miguel doing tonight? Tonight he's going to a soccer match. Miguel is going to a soccer match with his brother. Is Lynn doing anything tomorrow? Yes, she's going to work until 5. After that, Miguel and Len are going to meet each other at 6 o'clock. What are they going to do after that? After they are going to go bowling at 6 o'clock, they are going to get dinner together. That's great. They are going to play bowling and have dinner. B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. When are they going to have dinner? And who are they going to meet after dinner? So the time? They're going to have dinner at what time? And who are they going to meet after dinner? Page 100. Exercise 2. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. When are they going to have dinner? Who are they going to meet after dinner? After we're done bowling, do you want to go to the Chinese palace for dinner? Sure. I love their food. We can go around 8 o'clock. That's not too late. You know, maybe Jason can join us. Yeah. Hey, Jason, what are you doing tomorrow night? 
Do you want to join Miguel and me for dinner? We're going to the Chinese palace at 8. I have to work till 8.30, but why don't I meet you afterward? That'd be great, Jason. Listen again. Going... Who are they going to meet after dinner? After we're done bowling, do you want to go to the Chinese palace for dinner? Sure. I love their food. We can go around 8 o'clock. That's not too late. You know, maybe Jason can join us. Yeah. Hey, Jason, what are you doing tomorrow night? Do you want to join Miguel and me for dinner? We're going to the Chinese palace at 8. I have to work till 8.30, but why don't I meet you afterward? That'd be great, Jason. When are they gonna have dinner and who are they gonna meet after dinner? Miguel and Lane are going to have dinner at 8 o'clock. They are going to the Chinese palace. They are going to meet Jason. Jason is going to work until 8.30. So, Jason is going to meet them after dinner. Can meet them after dinner. Jason can meet them after dinner. Exercise number three. Grammar folks. Future with present continuous and be going to. Remember the present continuous? Am is are, verb plus ing, now, right now. Okay, this is the present continuous. And be going to. L listen. Page 101. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Future with present continuous and be going to. With present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. With be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until 5. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. Time expressions. Tonight. Tomorrow. On Friday. This weekend. Next week. Future with present continuous and be going to. Be going to. I can say it gonna. I am going. I'm gonna. Present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I am going to soccer match. I'm gonna to soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. With be going to plus verb. What's she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until 5. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. Time expressions? Tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend, next week. In this exercise, we are going to use the present continuous to express the future. Here, what are you doing tonight? I didn't say and I don't say, what are you doing now? No, what are? What are you doing tonight? Tonight, after 5, 6, 7, 8 hours, what are you going to do? What are you doing tonight? I am gonna soccer match. I am gonna to soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? So this is tomorrow, future. Here, are you doing? Present continuous. M is R, verb plus ing. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. So we use the present continuous to express the future. Present continuous for the future. How? How I know this is for future or this is present continuous for now? by time expressions. If I have Amidar verb plus ing tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, on Friday, coming Friday, next Friday, this weekend, next week, this is present continuous to express 
the future. But if I said, I am writing now, I'm studying English now, look, the train is coming, listen, Um Kalsum is singing. So in this exercise, I say, now, right now, look, listen, this is present continuous to express an action which is happening now. But if I use these words tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend, next week, this is the present continuous to express an action that, that is going to happen in the future, for the future. With be going to plus verb. What's she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until 5. She gonna work until 5. Be going to, am, is, are, going to, plus verb. Going to, we say it, we read it, gonna. Going to, gonna. She's going to work until 5. She gonna work until 5. Are they going to go bowling? Are they gonna go bowling? Yes, they are. We use be going to to express the future. Keywords or time expressions, time expressions, keywords, words that come with be going to and the present continuous for the future. Tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, next Friday, the coming Friday, this weekend, next week. What is the difference between present continuous and be going to? Let's check this PowerPoint. Future with present continuous and be going to. Going to Ghana. What is the difference between present continuous and going to to express the future? Be going to and present continuous. Be going to and present continuous for future plans. I can use going to and present continuous to suppress the future for future. Be going to refers to future intentions that have been decided but have not been fully planned. What does this mean? When I use be going to, I express the future and I have decisions on the future, but I haven't fully planned. I didn't make a plan for everything. We're going to get married, referring to a past decision. We're going to get married means we have made our mind, we have We've taken a decision, we're going to get married. In the future, we're going to get married. When is the wedding? We didn't decide. At what time are we going to get married? We didn't make the plan. The present continuous, the present continuous tense refers to fixed future events and emphasizes that plans or arrangements have already been made. Here, the present continuous, I use it to express the future for arrangements, for plans I have already made. When I say we are getting married next month, it means what? It means we are going to get married. We made our, our minds. We had a decision. And we had a plan. So the difference here is that we had a plan, we had a time, certain date, that we are getting to get married next month. So the wedding has already been arranged. We are going to make the marriage party next month. But with going to, we are going to get married 
but we didn't make, we didn't decide the winning party time. The present continuous. Examples. I am watching a movie tonight. He's playing tennis tomorrow. She's traveling to Alex next week. We're having a party on Friday. They're playing football this weekend. So the formation here, I'm watching, is playing, or having, or playing. Am is are, verb plus ing. And the keywords, the time expressions, tonight, tomorrow, next week, on Friday, the coming Friday, next Friday, this weekend. Formation. We form the present continuous, am is are, verb plus ing, tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend, next week, next month. This is to express the future. But if I use the present continuous to express now, I'm going to say what? Am is are, verb plus ing, now, right now, and this week, and this month, and this year, nowadays, at the moment. So this is for now. But to express the future, we have these keywords. Tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend. Next week. Yes, no questions. To ask a question. Is he watching a movie tonight? Is he? Is he? Read it. Is he? Is he watching a movie tonight? Yes, he is. Is she traveling next week? Yes, she is. Are they visiting the uncle tomorrow? No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Is he? Is she? Yes. He is. Yes, she is. Are they? Yes, they are. Or no, they aren't. Watching, traveling, visiting, verb plus ing. Tonight, next week, tomorrow. Words for the future. Words for the future. Is he, is she, is it, verb plus ing, tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend, next week. Yes, he is, yes, she is, yes, it is, no, no, he's not, no, she's not, no, it's not. Are we, are you, are they, plus verb, plus ing. The keywords, the time expressions, tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend, next week. A and B. B, yes we are, yes you are. Negative, no we aren't, no you aren't, no they aren't. Going to. We use going to or gonna to express the future. Subject, am is are, going to, 
going to plus main verb. Going to plus main verb. I'm going to travel all over the world. He's going to marry tomorrow. We're going to write a book next month. They're going to open school soon. My verb am is are going to plus main verb. Main verb infinitive like travel, marry, write, open. Words tomorrow, next month, soon. Time, time expressions or keywords soon, tomorrow, in the future, next month, on Friday, next weekend. All of these words express the future. A and B. A. Complete the invitations in column in column A. Take care. Column N silent. Column. When I have M and N N silent. Complete this complete the invitations in column A with the present continuous. Use this future. Complete the responses in column B with B going to. You have A and B. A present continuous. B be gonna or be going to one minute try to answer a one what what are what are you doing tonight would you like to go out one are doing Two. You do anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? Are you doing? Are you doing anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? Are doing? Are doing? Three, we have friends over barbecue on Sunday. Would you and your parents like to come? Three, we're having, we're having friends over for a barbecue on Sunday. Would you and your parents like to come? Parents, father and mother, mom and dad. Four. You stay in town next weekend. Do you want to go for a hike? Do you want to go for a hike? Hike to walk for a long time. Are you staying in town next weekend? Do you want to go for a hike? For are staying. Column B. Be going to. You will use be going to to fill the spaces. B, M is R, going to. I, I'm going. I'm going to be here on Saturday, but not Sunday. Let's try and go on Saturday. Saturday, 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 T sub D. I'm going. I'm going to. To. Well, my father is going to visit my brother at college. But my mother and I are going to be home. Would love to come. Would love to come. We want to come. B. My father is visiting my brother at college. But. My mother and I, my mother and I, too, my mother and I, means we, 
my mother and I are. So it's not I am. No, my mother and I are are going to be home. Would love to come. My mother and I are going to be home. Would love to come. C. Sorry. Sorry, I can't. I'm going to work overtime tonight. How about tomorrow night? I'm going to work. I'm going to work. So C am going to work. D. Can we go to a late show? I'm going to stay at the office till seven o'clock. I'm going to stay at the office till seven. I'm gonna stay at the office. I'm gonna stay at the office till seven. Going to gonna. Four. I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay. B. Match the invitations in column A with the responses in column B. Then practice with the partner. Match A with B. You match. Number one. C, one C. What are you doing tonight? Would you like to go out? Sorry, can't. I'm going to work overtime tonight. How about tomorrow night? One C, two, two D, two D, two. Are you doing in single Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? Can we go to late show? I'm going to stay at the office till seven. I'm going to stay at the office till seven. Three, three B, three. We're having friends over for a barbecue on Sunday. Would you and your parents like to come? Three, B, well, well, my father is going to my brother at college, but my mother and I are going to be home. We would love to come. But my mother and I are going to be home. Would love to come. Four, four, A, four, A. Are you staying in town next weekend? Do you want to go for a hike? A. I'm going to be here on Saturday, but not Sunday. Let's try and head. Let's try and go on Saturday. Four. A. Again, the answers. One. C. Two. D. Three. B. Four. A. Exercise number four, word power. In this exercise, you complete the word map with phrases from the list. Then add one more example to each category. Category, British, American, category. So here we have three sections, three categories, three categories. American. So, and, and you would like to put these words in every category. You have three groups for leisure activities. Leisure activities, free time, free time activities. First group, friendly gatherings. This means to meet the friends, friends. Meet each other. This is the group of meeting friends. Meeting among friends. Meetings. Live performances. Live happening now. Something which is happening now. A performance like a play, a movie. This section for sports. 
You watch, you see, you see a sport. The words barbecue, barbecue, a party, a party, a party where we cook meat on fire, baseball game, basketball game, beach party, birthday party, comedy act, comedy act like a play a part of a play or play a play with a like what say the shagel play the time play madras mushabin play dance performance golf tournament tournament competition for choosing the best team picnic play Rock concert, concert, a musical party, British musical party, tennis match. After we put these words, he will add one more example to each category. You will write one or two words from your own by yourself. Friendly gatherings, friendly gatherings, barbecue, beach party, birthday party, birthday party, picnic, others, dinner party, wedding, wedding, marriage, wedding, marriage. The answers again. Barbecue, beach party, birthday party, picnic, dinner party, wedding. Live performances, comedy act, dance performance, play, rock concert, British rock concert, ballet, opera, comedy act, Dance performance, play, rock concert, ballet, opera. Sports. Baseball game, basketball game, golf tournament, tennis match, squash, soccer match. Football match. Again, baseball game, basketball game, golf tournament, tennis match, squash, soccer match, football game. After you wrote the after you wrote the answers, please put the word in a sentence. B Per work, are you going to do any of the activities on the chart? When are you doing them? Talk with a partner. I'm gonna see a tennis match. Really? Who's playing? Make a conversation. Example. I'm going to I'm going to a birthday party. When? At what time? Friday at seven o'clock. Who will be there? All our friends. What are we going to do? We're going to eat, drink, sing and dance. We're going to have fun. Exercise number five, role play, accept or refuse. 
Look at the picture here. What do you see? Actor, actress. They are on the stage. They are in theater, theater. This is what? A show. An act. A play. Act a part of a play. An act an, a part of a play. Student A, choose an activity from exercise 4 and invite a partner to go with you. Be ready to say where and when the activity is. So here A and B. A, say, are you doing anything gone? Would you like to? You make invitation. Say, are you doing anything on on Friday? Would you like to go to the balloon theater? Would you like to go to the balloon theater? The balloon theater in Cairo? Student B. Accept? Okay. This sounds fun. Where is it? It's in Cairo. At what time can we meet? We're going to meet at 6 o'clock. Refuse B. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't. I'm very sick. I'm very tired. So you choose an activity from exercise 4 and you start to make this invitation. Like this. Say, are you doing anything on the coming Friday? No, no I don't. Would you like, would you like to go to, would you like to go to a golf tournament? Would you like to, would you like to see a tennis match? Be sure. I'd love to. Exercise number seven. In exercise number seven, conversation, look at the picture. An office. What's the man doing? He's writing. He's talking on the phone. He's, he's, he's writing, he's taking notes. Miss Graham. Miss Graham? So what's his job? He's in an office? Maybe he's a manager? No. He's secretary. He's secretary? A secretary for the manager? And he's taking a message on a phone call. Exercise number seven. Can I take a message? Listen. Page 102. Exercise seven. Conversation. Can I take a message? Part A. Listen and practice. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. May I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Miss Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Secretary. Good morning. Parker Industries. Parker Industries. This is the name of the company. Hello. May I speak to Miss Graham, please? Miss. Miss Graham. Mr. Furman. 
मिस सिंगल वुमेन मिस इज मैरिड वुमेन मिस सिंगल और मैरिड वुमेन मिस आई एम सॉरी शी इज नॉट एन नॉट एन थी सॉफ्ट दी शी इज नॉट एन कैन आई टेक अ मैसेज येस प्लीज दिस इज मिस्टर के एल इज दैट जी ए एल ई नो इट्स के ए एल ई All right, Kel. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at two thirty. Meeting, T sub D. Meeting. Friday at two thirty. And could you ask her to call to call me this afternoon? My number is six four six five 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 four zero three one. I can say five five five. Triple five. Also five five double five four four double four. Secretary six four six five 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 four zero oh, three one o oh, zero zero or o. Oh. Yes, Mister Kell. I'll give Miss Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. What is the name of the company? Parker Industries. The caller would like to speak to who? The caller would like to speak to Miss Graham. Who is Miss Graham? Miss Graham is the manager, and this man is this young man is secretary. Is Miss Graham there? No, she's not in. What is the name of the caller? Is the caller the person who called? His name is Mr. Gale. G A L E. No, it's Kale. K A L E. Did he leave a message? Yes. What is the message? Our meeting is on Friday at two thirty. Friday at two thirty, Mr. Kale and Ms. Graham are going to have a meeting at two thirty on Friday. Please ask her to call me this afternoon. What's Mr. Kale's number? His telephone number is six four six five 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 four zero three one. Will the secretary give Miss Graham the message? Yes, the secretary will give Miss Graham the message. Bart B, listen to three other callers. Write down the caller's name. We are going to listen to three other calls, conversations, and you write down the name of the caller. The name of the person. Page one hundred two, exercise seven, part B. Listen to three other calls. Write down the callers' names. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Miss Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, this is Tom Lee. Can you ask her to call me back? She has the number. Of course, Mr. Lee. Listen again. Listen to three other calls. Write down the callers' names. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. May I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes. This is Tom Lee. Can you ask her to call me back? She has the number. Of course, Mr. Lee. What is the first caller's name? His name is Mr. Tom Lee. First caller, Tom Lee. What is the message? Please call me back. Does Miss Graham? Have have his phone number. 
Yes, yes she does. She has his phone number. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, is Ms. Graham there? I'm afraid she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, this is Susan Brown. Please have her call me back as soon as possible. The number is 555-9037. Yes, Ms. Brown. I'll give her the message. Listen again. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, is Ms. Graham there? I'm afraid she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, this is Susan Brown. Please have her call me back as soon as possible. The number is 555-9037. Yes, Ms. Brown. I'll give her the message. The second caller is Ms. Susan Brown. Susan Brown? Her phone number is 555-9037. Industries. Hi, is mom there? This is Kelly. Oh, hi Kelly. How's it going? Pretty good. Listen, your mom isn't here right now, but I'll tell her you called. Okay. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hi, is mom there? This is Kelly. Oh, hi Kelly. How's it going? Pretty good. Listen, your mom isn't here right now, but I'll tell her you called. Okay. Third caller, caller number three, is Kelly. Kelly is Mrs. Graham's daughter, the daughter of Miss Graham. How's it going? How's it going? How are you? How's Kelly? She's pretty good. Pretty good? Very good. Thanks. That's the end of the first part of unit number 15 homework you can have www dot cambridge arcade Cambridge.org Interchange Arcade yes. Unit number 15 I'm going to soccer match and try to answer the questions A future with present continuous Future with present continuous. We have different questions. Answer them. This is number one. Number two. Answer three pages of the workbook, the exercises book. Wish you all good luck. Have fun. Hope you like and share. And subscribe. Crowd Handout Leisure activity Spare time activity Free time activity Live Direct Happening now Unit 15 I'm going to soccer match 1. Snapshot Look at the picture. What do you see? A young man and a young lady. The man is smiling. The young lady is angry. She's making what? 
like he would like to shake hands so he's asking for invitation and she refuses his invitation making excuses excuse a false reason I'm sorry I have to wash my hair that night I'm sorry I can't accept your invitation I can't come with you because I have to wash my hair that night that night I'm going to wash my hair course execute is a false reason not a true reason not true not a real one some common excuses for not accepting an invitation common general famous excuses for not accepting an invitation for refusing an invitation one I can't my parents are visiting from out of town if someone invites you to go to the movies to go to the cinema or to have dinner with him to come to his birthday party and you don't like to go how can you refuse politely politely in a very good way saying no but in direct اهلا بكم في حلقه جديده وفيديو جديد لقناتنا انجليش فور عربس النهارده ان شاء الله هناخد النصف الاولاني للوحده ال15 هتضمن الفيديو اول حاجه معاني الكلمات الجزء الثاني شرح نص الوحده اما الجزء الثالث باور بوينت البريزنت كونتينوس استخدام المضارع المستمر للتعبير عن المستقبل والفرق بينه وبين بي جوينج تو يونت 15 ام جوينج تو ساكر ماتش بيبي سيتر Babysitter, T soft D, American, British, babysitter. Person who takes care of someone's baby. Puppy, American, a young dog. British, a young dog. A concert, American, concert, O A, concert. A musical party, musical party. T soft D. Five, accept, say yes, refuse, say no, refuse, say no. Call me back, call me back. How's it going? How are you? How's it going? How are you? General words for unit 15. Cancelled, cancelled, deleted. Cancelled 1L and cancelled double L. Cancelled USA 1L. Cancelled double L. This is British. خلينا هنا ال verb في USA with 1L. British بيبقى double L. Deleted or deleted. Monuments. Monuments remains. Viewer, viewer, gathering, young dog, dog, British, American, dog, O, A, in American, O, sometimes A. Excuse, a false reason, T, I'd love to, I want, I wanna, bowling, bowling, a game played by rolling a heavy ball. Four. Barbecue, a party in which a meal prepared outside over fire. A party, British party. Picnic, a journey in the arms of nature. A journey in the arms of nature. Tournament, tournament, a competition for choosing the best, the best player or team. Comedy act. Comedy act, yeah, sound, the sound of Y. Comedy act, link, comedy act. في هنا link وصلة بين D والA باستخدام الياه sound أو صوت ال Y. Comedy act. 